Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thunamis Lure Company. So glad to see you and welcome to today's episode of Thunamis Fishing Tips. I am out here on Lake Ontario. It is late April. The water temperature is 41, 42 degrees, 41.8 degrees. And I'm out here uh, just in front of Port Weller. And what I'm gonna do today, folks, I'm gonna troll with lead core line, uh, looking for hopefully salmon. Of course, there's trout out here too, but I'm hoping to get into a nice king salmon. And I'm gonna run the American Smelt crankbait. And the one I chose today is natural. Uh, it's more of a darker color. It's kind of overcast today and the water clarity is not so bad. I also brought uh, some gold with me as well. But uh, I'm gonna open up with a natural color to start with. And um, what I'm gonna do, folks, with this lead core line, basically it's different colored line. As you let more line out, there's different colors. And as a general rule, one color of line, of lead core line, will get you down anywhere from six feet to 10 feet. And it's always a guessing game because it depends how fast the boat is going, depends on the lure you're running, depends on the wind and the water conditions. So one thing I like to do, because I'm running the American Smelt, I could let out, I can count how many colors I'm gonna let out. I wanna get down there about 40 feet. I'm fishing between 50 and 60 feet of water right now. And I wanna get my, my line down there about 40 feet. So what I could do is I could let out many different colors and then what I can do in order, in order to find out exactly how deep I'm fishing, a trick I can do is now I can hold my rod and see if I can feel bottom. So if I don't feel bottom, what I can do is let out another color of line and continue trolling and then see if I feel bottom. Once I feel bottom, then I know exactly how many colors of line to let out for how deep I'm fishing, then what I could do is I could start reeling in to get my line up there to 40 feet. So that's gonna be the strategy today, folks. I'm gonna troll at about, I'm just at 3.2 mile an hour. Uh, it's a nice, nice late April day, folks. They're calling for rain later, but for right now, it's looking mighty fine. And I'm hoping to get into one of those nice king salmon. The stocking is working, folks. The salmon are running. And these uh, spring kings are not like the October kings. They're much, much stronger. They fight a lot more, and uh, that's what I'm looking to get into today. And as a side note, uh, here we are in uh, 2019, and this year they're going to actually stock 20% less salmon, So, uh, which is a good thing because they're saying the salmon are thriving and there's so many, they don't need to stock as many. So I'm hoping to get into at least one of those fish today. So, so glad you could join me. Oh, he's swimming towards the boat. What a hit, folks. There he goes. Wow, I had to crank real fast. Oh, oh, he's on top of the water. Oh boy, there he goes. What a nice fish. Holy mackerel, folks, he... Wow, did he ever hit? He hit, and then he just started swimming towards the boat, and honestly, folks, I had to crank as fast as I possibly could, like literally as fast as I could to get him here to the boat. Holy mackerel, that was really something. I was really, I was really cranking. Oh, wow. Okay. Now, I wonder, I didn't get a chance to see what he got, but he did break the water. I don't know if it's a steelhead or a salmon. Oh, it's a nice size. Oh, yeah, that's a beauty. Oh, look at that, folks. What a nice fish. Oh, yeah. Let's see if I can net him. Come on in. Beautiful fish. Nice silver color. Look at that. Come on in here. There we go. He's in the bag. That is one nice king. That is a nice king right there, folks. Well, I was hoping to get a salmon, and I hooked into one, and it's a beauty. Also known as a Chinook. Oh, wow, but did he ever, he got the needle nose. Did he ever take a run? That was really great. I don't want to get my uh, hand in a needle nose right in the, right in the snout. Good hit, good hook set. 
Oh, oh, what a nice salmon, folks. Oh, what a nice salmon. Okay, he's finished. Here we go. Let's see if I can get him out. That's just a nice size. That's a good eater. I'm going to keep this one, folks. Oh. For a minute, I wasn't sure if it was a steelhead or a salmon, but when he ran like that, I thought, oh, it's got to be a king. Oh, there we go, folks. What a nice salmon that is right there. Look at that. Oh, that's a great, that's what I came out here for, right there, folks. Oh, we're going to grab ourselves a nice photo for Facebook and Instagram, but right now, let's get him in the live well. Oh yeah. Ah, there we go. That is one beautiful, beautiful king salmon right there, folks. Okay, so he came out of 59 feet of water and I was about 40 feet down with my lead core line. So what I'm gonna do, folks, you know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get that American smelt right back out there again. And that lead core line is definitely helping get me down there to where the fish are which is really, really nice. So I'm gonna count the exact same amount of colors, get my line right back out there again, and see if I can get in another fish or two. Oh, oh folks, oh no, he's, he's spooling me. Okay, he's gonna spool me. Oh boy, so what we did, I still have my lead core line in. What a hit. We put a second rod out, and we said we're gonna run this one Suspended this this is the American smelt the Thunder Mist American smelt which dives 20 feet on its own So this is no lead core line. This is just Just 100% fluorocarbon that I'm running so as this one. Oh What a jump <laughs> What a jump that was <laughs> Look like a dolphin coming out of the water there folks. So this one was only down 20 feet So I'm in 55 feet of water right now and this salmon hit this American smelt crankbait at 20 feet down. Whereas my lead core line, I've got at 40 feet down. Oh, here he comes, got a crank, got a crank. Oh, what a jump. Oh, this, 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 this is great. What a jump that was. Wow, acrobatic. These are not, I love catching the salmon in October, folks, don't get me wrong. But the spring kings, there's nothing like them. They're silver, they're on the bite, they're strong, they're exciting. Oh, oh, <laughs> he's peeling. <laughs> oh no, oh, he's going under the boat. Oh, there he goes. Oh, I had the crank fast. You wanna keep your line, you always gotta keep your line tight. You don't want them to be able to shake the hook. Oh, I gotta loosen up on my drag. I've got 17 pound test fluorocarbon line on here folks this one is fighting a lot more than that last one was oh. as the fish come closer to the boat you definitely got to lighten up on your drag a bit because there's a lot more pressure on your on your line and you don't want to break off oh crank 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 oh they are so fast and so strong folks it's unbelievable wow okay this is what springtime fishing is all. Oh, it's a beautiful king. Wow, it's a dandy. No wonder, oh, no wonder he was fighting more. It's a bigger fish. Whoa. It's, it's a bigger fish. <laughs> See, they come in, like I say, we're only fishing in the 50 foot range. In the spring, they move in the feed and this water's so cold, you can get them in here. You can get them in in shallower water. And look at folks, no high tech technology today. Very simple fishing, flat lining with one rod and the other rod with lead core line to get me down deeper. So one rod is fishing more suspended, one line is fishing deep. And this American smelt is really doing it today, folks. Oh, so strong. This one is like twice the size of the other one. And I think that's why he's giving me such a battle. Okay. I 
get the net a little bit closer. Oh, this, this is super exciting. Catching big fish like this in the spring. Oh. Okay. Oh. Come on, Mr. King. See if I can get him in and get him in the net, folks. This is a challenge. Oh. Well, don't want to lose my reel. It loosened up on me a bit there. All right. Oh. oh, not quite. Little net's not going to do it. Little net is not going to do it. Oops. All right. Oh, he's wrapped around the tail now. That's one way to tail a fish. All right. Let's get him tailed here, folks. There we go. All righty. All right. One way to tail a fish. Oh. Antonio, where are you when I need you? Okay. Oh. Oh. There we go, folks. And the lure, the lure came off. I was lucky to land that fish. Holy, that's a big king. That's a nice king right there, folks. Oh, that's a nice king. <laughs> that's a nice king right there. Oh my God. Oh, and I've just got started, folks. I have just got started, but look at the nice silver coloration on this fish absolutely gorgeous that is one nice lake ontario king salmon right there okay oh he is thick really 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 thick okay oh that's a really really thick thick wide fish right there oh okay oh that's just folks that just made my day we've been out here for it's been 45 minutes, two fish already. The day is young, the rains are coming, but we still got plenty of time to fish. I'm gonna get those smelts wet back out there again. That line is still in there. I can just put it in gear. It's gonna start trolling. And we're gonna put that flat line out again too. One at 20, one at 40. The system is working today, folks. If you ever get an opportunity to give springtime salmon fishing a, a try, all you need is, you don't need a lot of gear, simple techniques, get yourself out on the water, start trolling, I'm trolling at three mile an hour. Have yourselves a great day, I'm having a lot of fun. I wanna thank you ever so much for tuning in to today's episode of Thunder Fishing Tips. And as always folks, until next time, good luck and good fishing. Oh boy, looking to get myself into another nice fish. Time to clean up though, I'm slimed.